Well, recent, recent legislation has increased funding by 7% for New York State's Complete Streets Act. Now, some advocates who have been long pushing for modifications to the legislation uh, got to see their wishes come true. Our New York Capital correspondent, Elise Klein, spoke to advocates about the impact this funding could have for New Yorkers. Governor Kathy Hochul signs legislation to increase funding by 7% for the Complete Streets Bill. Some advocates who have long been pushing for modifications to this legislation get to see their wishes come true. For Diana Alati, an advocate with Families for Safe Streets, this fight is personal. Three years ago, Alati's 13-year-old son, Andrew, was riding his bicycle on his way to his friend's house when he was struck and killed in a traffic accident at a pedestrian crossing on Hempstead Turnpike. Since that day, Alati says she is left with a hole in her heart and a passion to fight for the safety of other children. This is not an easy process. It's not easy for me to talk about the loss of my son. It's, but I know he would be very proud of me. And I want to make sure that this doesn't continue. Alati says this increase in funding for complete streets is a step in the right direction. Elizabeth Adams from Transportation Alternatives says an increase in funding will help local municipalities who often struggle to fund their complete streets projects. Infrastructure and engineering is really, really critical when it comes to safer streets. According to a 2016 New York State Department of Transportation study, complete streets projects have shown to reduce injuries and fatalities. But Alati says there is more work to be done. She says she will not stop fighting until there is a reduced speed limit sign at the pedestrian crosswalk on Hempstead Turnpike. I just want to know that my son didn't die in vain. In Albany, Elise Klein, WNY News Now.